Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Here I have a great article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So this is going to be a very important part to T-Mobile trying to stay ahead in the 5G speed lead. And that's pushing the technology as, as fast as they possibly can. So now T-Mobile has four carrier aggregation on 5G live in the network commercially. I've seen it posted on Reddit. Some people sent me screenshots of the service mode. And in many cases, it's two carriers of N41, N25, and then N71. And they've, there's also been some N66 spotted as well. So soon T-Mobile should launch five carrier aggregation to continue to try and keep their speed lead on 5G. Now, what's interesting about this, we're, we're hitting that road again where the networks are going to be more advanced than the devices. So now it's going to depend on device support to take advantage of the four carrier aggregation and the five carrier aggregation. I believe from what I've seen, the S22s and S23s can do it. From what I've heard, the iPhones can't do it yet. At least the 14s are able to do it, but they need some kind of firmware update from what I've, from what I've been told. But older devices like an S21, an iPhone 13, iPhone 12, S20, those, th those won't be able to take advantage of the four carrier aggregation and, and uh, the five carrier aggregation. They won't be able to take advantage of it. So this is, like I said, this is an important part to T-Mobile trying to keep their speed lead. Now they have to, of course, match this with what's on air with backhaul, right? You, you can push four or five carrier aggregation, but if you have one gig on the backhaul, you know, there's not much more speed that's going to come out of that. you got to move to 10 gigs. So in many cases, once they go to five carrier aggregation in, in a good amount of markets, it's going to push T-Mobile over 200 megahertz of mid-band on air. And of course, you, you can include another 20 megahertz into low band that, that's added in. But in, the, in, a, in a good amount of areas, T-Mobile is going to push mid-band past 200 with all this aggregation. You know, in, in the markets where N41 is 180, right, that's two, two carriers. One is 100, the other is 80. Then in some of those markets, they can go 20 megahertz on N25 and then another 10 to 20 megahertz of N71 and then another 20 megahertz of N66, right? Some markets is 15, some it's 20. So they can, they can push the speed um, as, as fast as they possibly need to, right? If they feel threatened by Verizon, this is one way to really push the speeds to, to, the, to the max. There's other ways too. There's small cells that they can, that they can implement, more sites, of course. But that is, that, that is time. That's going to take time. That's going to take investment. The fastest way to do it right now is to just move to newer technology on the already existing network, like four carrier aggregation, five carrier aggregation, um, cell splits, four, four sectors, um, going from one gig to 10 gig, um, you know, doing a 10, 24 qualm, you know, stuff like that can help them move to the next round of, of, of speed tiers, right? I, they said, very early on, before the merger even closed, Neville said that they could hit nationally a 400 median of speed, 400 megabits per second median. That's a national average. So that means a lot of markets are going to have to really step up in speed for them to get to that 400 megabit per second median. That's, that's a really, really fast network. You know, to be able to maintain that speed on a national average of 400 megabits per second median, I mean, some of these markets are, are going to start averaging like six, seven, eight hundred megabits a second. We're seeing the early showings of that now. Some markets are at 300, some are at a 400 median, but you're not going to do that on an average. That's not going to happen, right? So in order for them to post a 400 megabit per second median there's going to be markets that are going to shoot up way high on the speed median to support that 400 right 
there's just no way that T-Mobile is going to get 400 megabits per second in every market on average. It's not going to happen. So there's going to be some markets where they're going to be crazy fast, right? There's going to be somewhere where they're doing seven, 800 megabit per second medium once this is all done. And I fully anticipate that, you know, once the devices are at scale that can take advantage of the four carrier, five carrier, I'm sure eventually T-Mobile will move to six, seven carrier aggregation as C-band DoD comes online. So again, I spoke with a few engineers. I said, hey, Verizon's coming. The C-band clears. Then they got CBRS that's moving to NR. They don't seem concerned. The engineers don't seem concerned. Again, there's still a lot of fragmentation out there. Maybe they 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 push to make that more contiguous. Who knows? But for now, what we do know, that's a fact. Four carrier aggregation is launched commercially on T-Mobile's network. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.